Hey guys, welcome. Today we're going to be looking at the GameSir X3 Type-C mobile controller. But first, I want to give a big thanks to today's sponsors, TapTap. TapTap is a mobile game sharing community. TapTap will give you access to hundreds and hundreds of different games and also gives you the benefit of watching people's videos and reviews on certain types of games, including written reviews. And TapTap also supports controller supported Android games. So when you're pairing it with the game Sir X3 Type C, it's a fantastic combination. So this is the TapTap app. Links to this are in the description below. Okay, so the X3 Type C. If you remember, a while ago I did review the X2 Type C, which basically this, but without the cooling element from the GameSir F4, which are also reviewed. So you've got a gaming controller that can play hundreds of different games with the cooling ability there as well. Now, in the box, you get a USB Type C cable. This is going to charge the phone and also apply power to the, the cooling system as well. You're going to need that. You also get a set of replacement buttons for the joysticks, uh, the directional pad there as well. So you get plenty of accessories and stickers and little manuals. And obviously the tap tap QR code to install that. And you can download and install the GameSir app as well. So you get a nice quality case with the X3 Type-C. It is a hardened case as well, so it's gonna have the extra protection for your controller. It's a textured black material with a red trim for the zip. So I have the controller here. Let's take a better look at it, shall we, from above and sort of delve into what this can actually do. Okay, guys, here she is. The GameSir X3 Type-C, and it's called the Type-C because it accepts or is compatible with Type-C connectors or smartphones, Type-C smartphones, Type-C tablets. And we have here a little demonstration. This is a really cool feature that I did have in the X2 Type-C as well. So you're not gonna snap the connector off when you're pulling your, your phone out. It's got a nice rubber texture here. So it's gonna support and protect your device. It's not gonna scratch it. This is obviously the base for the cooler. That's gonna get really, really cold and we'll test some of the temp temperatures a bit later. Uh, same setup as previous, got the joysticks, buttons, like they've got the Xbox button configuration there. Uh, it very looks similar to a Switch, Nintendo Switch. My son even said that earlier today. Uh, yeah, white casing, directional pad. At the bottom, we have two USB type C ports. This one is to charge your phone while gaming, so it's pass-through. Okay, you can pass through straight to that Type-C and charge your phone at the same time. Some phones don't support that. But I think quite a lot of the modern ones do nowadays. And this is power for the cooling system, the fan at the back. And this is what it looks like at the back. Look at that. Beautiful. It's got a textured bump there as well for more grip when you're holding that. And then if we extend it out, that's what you got. Again, look at that. So that is that. Oh, you've got the shoulder buttons as well. We've got LT, RT, RB, and LB. And all these controls can be configured on the phone. So I'll quickly show you the additional um, buttons you get with it as well. Just took four of them out. Uh, these just pop over the joysticks. So it adds sort of extra grip. And then maybe if you've got bigger thumbs as well, um, the surface area of your thumb, that's perfect. And then just pop that one on there as well. There we go, you're good to go. So those are the joysticks, really easy to put on. And you've got a couple spare there as well. We also have the directional pad button there, if you want to swap that out. That pops off like that. There we go. Gives you more options for gaming, whatever you prefer. That feels quite nice, actually. You also get these in there as well, where you can just pull them off and pop these on quite easily. So you have a few options of configurations like that. Okay, let me demonstrate to you the 
the cooling system, the fan, so Type-C connector, so you can either Type-C cable, and it launches up immediately. There we go. And it cycles through some sort of cool looking colors there, sort of RGB. It's got a fan, a sucking air in. So you need to keep this open. You cannot cover that at all. So that's gonna work its magic while you're gaming. And this will start getting cold. It's getting cold now, like a, a fridge, basically. 16 degrees, 15 point, oh, 16. Got down 15 there, 15.4. Let's feel that. Left it running longer. We have 11.2. Oh, it's going right down. 10. I wonder if that's like the lowest, the lowest, sort of slowing down a bit now. Look. Yeah, that is getting nice and chilly. So this should cool your smartphone down when gaming. You know, to finish. Just unplug it. There's no on off switch. It's either plugged in or it's not. So I have the Pixel 6 Pro here. Like I said, that lifts up like that. You can pop that in there and pull that out like that. And you're in. Okay. And you'll also notice there is a blue light indicator there. That's signifies connectivity it's a solid blue light so we are connected to the pixel 6 pro ready for gaming just to demonstrate if you have a foldable phone let's see what um how this works so we have the vivo x fold we have a type c connector there so it could potentially work i should do but i think we're gonna have that like that Yeah, so that's what you have with a fold. I don't think doing it that way is gonna help that much. So you'd have to game like that. Let me turn up a little bit, the screen. So that's what it looks like with a foldable device, obviously depending what side the USB Type-C is on. It would've been better if that screen was up there, but there you go. And also folded up. So we have that in there, but it's folded. You can obviously play it the normal, the conventional way there as well, if you wish. So just to demonstrate charging while gaming or charging, charge through. There you go. You can now see uh, it's charging and holding it. It's no bother either. It's not really getting in the way of any buttons. So if you do need to charge and game, it's no problem at all. Okay, so 6 Pro is in. I'm going to launch Tap Tap. So Tap Tap the mobile gaming community, access to hundreds of different games. There's also users in the community, my, myself as well, so I've set up an account, um, uploading their own videos and sort of comments on the videos and the games, uh, gaming reviews. It's a nice community here on TapTap, but you also get here a gaming center at the bottom right. It groups all your games that you have on your smartphone and they're accessible here, play, launch them straight away and you can also update these apps from this location there as well most of the apps within tap tap if you download them they're going to play straight off the bat with this controller no configuration needed there is however configuration needed for call of duty and PUBG mobile which i'll show you in a moment but i'll just show you from here let's play fortnite so what temperatures we get and the phone's been on for a while so we're near that 30 no 40 celsius there on the phone 38 so here we go, and we should just be able to, look, we can see the buttons here working already. See that? There we go, moving forward, back, round, and I can fire, shoot, jump, build. I don't want to crouch. Oh, there we go. Whoa. Oh, yes. Oh, no. Let's see someone there. Come on, you. 
Now I'm going to get killed. Come on, yeah. Semi automatic. Bummer. Yeah. There we go, guys. As you can see, Fortnite straight out of the box works straight away. A quick temperature test. Obviously, we're not cooling it at the moment. Um, it's not focusing. 42.5. It's getting really hot, this, um, this phone. Let's plug this in a little bit, see if the cooling effect has an effect through the phone throughout instead of just at the back. Right, so we have the handbrake on the left, then we have nitro on the top. <laughs> Simple really for this game. Nitro. Phew. It's so much better having access to the whole screen. You know, you can see the whole screen, your thumbs aren't covering it, your fingers aren't covering it. Superb. Are you going to make that? Yeah, I did. And we've got manual controls there as well, though. Going to make it? Oh, no. Look, guys, superb gameplay. Fantastic. I'm going to keep this connected, this, uh, this caller. I don't know if you can hear it over the music in the actual game. Uh, so we were getting 41 earlier, wasn't we? I don't know how much of a difference, if any. Okay, so it's brought it down, you know, like a couple of degrees there. A couple of degrees. Okay, so Apex mobile game doesn't work straight out of the box. So this can bring me nicely onto the GameSir app. Now, this is where we're going to have to do some manual configuration, and I'll show you that now. Okay, game set app. Here we go. I remember, still got this cool pad running on the back. What was it again? 38? 36? 38. 36 is definitely bringing that temperature down. And I've been downloading games as well. Uh, let's click play game. So within here, you can add a game and let's pick, where is it? Apex Legends, add, okay. Let's launch that and I'll show you the configuration. Okay, so you can see the GameSir app overlaying here and this is all you wanna play with really. In here, you can see left stick, right stick and all these question mark buttons you can assign whatever button you want to them. So what we're gonna do first is, well, let's lay it flat actually. I've took the fan thing off as well. So get a close look. So we want the left to be dragged over to the left. See that lot? So we have the left on the left stick there. And then uh, once we're happy with that, we also need the right stick. Now the right stick's obviously gonna be on shooting so, so right six obviously going to be around this area because obviously this is um, where you're going to be moving. You know, so that will be assigned to where you normally touch moving. Good. Go back to adjust, and then I'll quickly just show you a couple here so you get the gist. Drag this question mark over there onto the crosshair. All right, you can make it bigger if you want. Like that lot, you can make it bigger. That's on the crosshair. That's obviously aiming. We want to assign that to the, the trigger, the L2 trigger. There we go. So it's L2 for aim. And then for firing, we are going to need another one down here. Drag there, tap, resize. And then all you've got to do is press the button that you want to configure. And you do that for the rest of the whole setup. Also, I forgot to mention that you need to press the G button and the home button there together in order to use this the configuration where I've been configuring there. It allows the game server to access the type C. Okay, and now we can jump in and properly play the game. 
There you see that. You have to switch modes. Now let's just sort of do a quick temperature check because I did turn the um, so we're up to 41.4, 41.4. Let's stick this back in again. Okay, we're in. So obviously with this configuration, you have the beauty of assigning any buttons you want to any configuration on here. I know um, there's so many sort of configurations to consider when setting uh, games up like this in PUBG and Call of Duty. So with some simple configuration, Apex Legend is playable on this controller. So it's 41 earlier. 39.8, definitely brings it down. And I suppose this is what it's supposed to do. And as you can see, configured for Call of Duty as well. Again, you have to hold the G button and the home button in order to enter the game sale world mode. Um, so you can play games in this configuration as well. So again, we have to assign buttons through the software. And this is Call of Duty Mobile. fantastic gaming controller abilities with calling capabilities as well what were we at earlier let's have a look so 38.7 38.6 it's coming down it's definitely keeping it well from what i've noticed two or three degrees lower in temperature which um it could be really important to be fair. Oh, it's me using the screen. <laughs> so within the GameSo app, you also get layout recommendations. So instead of doing it all yourself, you can just click one of these and apply them, which I've done here. And we're going to be using that. Quick temperature check. Look at that, 36.7, 36.6 is going down. So we do, as you can see here, full compatibility. Whoa, well, we're going to be dead then. Boom, got you, mate. <laughs> Where's he gone? Surely he's going to come back for more, isn't he? There he is. But he's got out of the car, isn't he? Oh man, that'll, go, that'll do. Okay, yeah, so let's do a quick heat test because we're getting up to 41, wasn't we? Look at that lot. It's dropped down to 35.4, 35.1. We could go on forever. It's going to just keep dropping and dropping. So without a doubt, this works as a cool gaming controller. It looks cool. It acts cool. It is cool. Let's take this out. Um, oh, you can. I wish you could feel this. <laughs> I don't know what it's going to say in the bot on, the, on there. Twenty-eight. It just said there, didn't it? Twenty-nine, thirty. Yeah, I mean the fact that this foam is getting forty odd Celsius earlier proves this gaming controller does cool. Now this is it. I mean this is fantastic. It works really well in terms of configuration wise. Most of the games straight out of the box or wherever you download them from, you can play straight off, as long as it's plugged into there, obviously, it's gonna fit in to USB Type-C. Some games like PUBG, Apex Legends, and Call of Duty, a slight bit of configuration, but like I showed you on the PUBG game, uh, within the GameSir app, the, uh, the overlay, you can just quickly install other people's configurations quite instantly. So that's great as well. And this also works for cloud gaming. So Google Stadia, Stadia, whatever you want to call it. You can play any single game on that. Put your phone in here and you're good to go. Um, but that is my video. Fantastic. A cool mobile gaming controller. The GameSir X3 Type-C. Thank you all very much for watching, guys. Really hope you enjoyed this video. If you have, smash that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.